Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss how to customize the icon menu using the icon menu wizard tool. This tool is used to modify or add icons of schematic symbol or panel symbol in the icon menu. Using this tool, you can create a new sub menu, add icons that will be used for inserting the component or circuits delete icons, cut, copy and paste icons. Mainly, using this tool you can edit the default menu files such as ACE underscore NFPA underscore menu dot dat for schematic symbols and ACE underscore panel underscore menu dot dat for panel symbol. To start with, I will first open one drawing from new project. Suppose I open this practice symbols drawing. Now I will save this drawing with the name practice under underscore icon menu wizard. Next to access the icon menu wizard tool, make sure you are in the schematic tab and then in this other tools panel, choose this icon menu wizard tool. On choosing this tool, the select menu file dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, you need to select the icon menu file which you want to edit. In this edit box, by default, this ACE underscore NFPA underscore menu dot that file is displayed, its path and its name is displayed. And if you want to select any other menu file, you can choose the browse button and select that file. If you want to select the panel icon menu file, then you can choose this panel button to get this menu file in this edit box. Now suppose I want to keep this schematic file only, then I will choose this button. Now I will choose the OK button over here. On choosing the OK button, the icon menu wizard dialog box is displayed. This dialog box is quite similar to the insert edit component dialog box with almost all the areas as it is. But here the add drop down list is added to this dialog box where all these options are there. Let us discuss all these options one by one. The component option is used to add a component icon in the menu that can be used to insert a component in the drawing. Now suppose I select this option. The add icon component dialog box is displayed. We have discussed similar dialog box when we learned about how to add user defined circuit to an icon menu. So here you need to specify the icon details. You can specify the name of the icon. You need to specify the image file for that icon. You can use all these buttons to specify the image file. You can choose the browse button to browse to that image file. You can pick it from the drawing or you can use the whole active drawing as an image file by using this button. Next, next block name to insert area is there. Here you need to specify the block name for this icon. Again the same options are there to specify the block name. And once you specify the name and other details, this OK button will be activated and you can then add the component as an icon in an icon menu file. Then Similarly, you can add a new command using this option. Then to add a new circuit, you need to select this new circuit option. Then create new circuit dialog box is displayed where you need to specify the options. Then you can add the existing circuit by using this option. And to add a new sub menu, you need to choose this last option. And then you can create a new sub menu using this tool. You can see here the icon description for this sub menu. You need to specify it over here. Then 
The menu number is already specified. You need to specify the menu title. Now we'll discuss how to add a new symbol that we have created in our last video using this tool. To add new component icon or you can say new component symbol in the icon menu file, you need to select this component option from this add drop down list. Here, you need to write the name of the component icon or symbol. Suppose I write the name as symbol 01. Now I need to provide the image file for this new component icon. Suppose I choose speak button and I will select this block to provide the image file. Now you can see here hdv1 underscore symbol 01 is displayed in the image file edit box and preview of this image file is displayed over here and the location of the image file is also specified here. Now we need to specify the block name for this component icon. For that I will choose the browse button and I will retain this NFPA folder selected because I want to add this component to this NFPA icon menu file and I will write the name of the block file as hdv1 underscore symbol 01. Now I will choose the open button. So now I have specified all the options for this add icon component dialog box. Now I will choose the ok button. Now you can see the symbol 01 is displayed with its preview icon in the icon menu wizard dialog box. Now if you want to insert this component in this current drawing or any other drawing you need to first choose the ok button over here in this icon menu wizard dialog box and then you can go to this icon menu tool in this icon menu drop down of insert components panel in the schematic tab and choose this icon menu tool. Now the insert component dialog box is displayed. I regret I was specifying the name of this dialog box as insert edit component dialog box by mistake but this is actually the insert component dialog box where this new component that you have added using the icon menu wizard tool is displayed here. So like this you can create the customized symbol. You can then add these symbols to the icon menu files and then use these symbols to add them in any other drawings also. Now if I select this symbol 01, now this is attached to the cursor and I need to specify the insertion point. If I want to put it in the current drawing, I can suppose I want to put it over here, you can do that. Next you can change the details of this inserted symbol in this inserted component dialog box that is displayed. And then you can choose the OK button. Now you can see here component tag is displayed. And as I discussed earlier, if manufacturer details or if description for this component is specified, then it would have displayed as an attribute along with this symbol. So that's all in this video. Thanks for watching.